Hello and welcome to all. From a gigantic ship crashing into the dock to two trains colliding head on. And of course, a hilarious day at work in Sub Saharan Africa. Here are the 10 most monumental employee mistakes you will probably never forget. Let's get started. You don't really need to be a horographer to write the word stop without making a mistake, do you? We can indeed doubt on words like platypus or Malthusianism, for example, but not on a word made of four letters and which moreover is written a little bit everywhere on road signs. But we invite you to watch this sequence, which comes from South Africa, where obviously spelling is not a national cause. Look at how this word was written, even though it is so simple to write. Yes, you did not become myopic or affected by a sudden squint. It is indeed the word SOTP that was painted on the road. Is it really the clumsiness of spelling or was it the painter under the influence of a good bottle of rum? That nobody can really know with certainty. Anyway, with such a signage you can't expect it to be respected at all. Have you ever wondered what damage a collision with a large ship could cause? Well, you have the answer with this incredible video, which comes straight from the People's Republic of China. These terrible images filmed at the port of Majiagang shows us the precise moment when a gigantic ship collides with the quay, making a huge container crane crash. The captain of the ship obviously missed his approach calculations, but by the time he realized it, it was already too late. And although the ship was moving at a very low speed, it was nevertheless impossible for him to right the ship's helm, literally and figuratively. Indeed, because of the tonnage and size of this ocean behemoth, maneuverability is very limited and navigation requires a lot of anticipation from the commander. But as you can see, the captain was sorely lacking and the terrible consequences of his mistake cost several million dollars in damages and a big scare for the port employees. Getting your meal delivered on rollerblades is a very common trend in the United States. And it is not uncommon to see waiters skating between the tables of customers while holding the orders with an expert hand. But watch out, because in this hilarious sequence you might get splashed. We warned you! Admire this magnificent waiter of the modern times who proudly carries his tray of fresh drinks towards his thirsty customers. And look at the selflessness with which he hurries to quench their thirst. So much, so that he has put on the fastest pair of rollerblades he owns. But we should think about installing some speed limit signs because as you will see the road is very slippery at this place. Indeed, the poor waiter on wheels, carried away by his momentum, will suddenly lose his balance and fall directly on the customer's car. This last one, who had lowered his window to take his order, is going to receive it despite everything, but not in the way he expected. In Nigeria and Ghana, funeral ceremonies are like breakdance tournaments, with rhythmic music, wild choreography and all the rest. The pallbearers, as the locals call them, are indeed morticians of a completely different kind. Their job is to celebrate the dead by performing in a typical dance while carrying the coffin of the deceased on their shoulders. This unusual ritual is supposed to honor the deceased and would find its origins in Asian pagan rites of Sub-Saharan Africa. It is therefore a tradition to which we attach a lot of value and which brings to the pallbearers a certain prestige among the population. In this sequence we can see them at work, proudly wearing their ceremonial costumes and starting a funeral dance of the most rhythmic. The dancers are so carried away by the music that they even forget that they are carrying a corpse on their shoulders. Wanting to let go of their shoulders to follow the rhythm, they end up dropping the coffin which collapses on the ground, bringing out its diseased occupant into the open air. The joyful ceremony turns into a tragedy and these poor pallbearers may never be called for funerals again. Some employees' mistakes can be very expensive, especially if they involve the destruction of a bridge or an infrastructure that the city had built at several million dollars. Look at these amazing images recorded on a highway and which show us the big mistake of a careless or totally stupid truck driver. This driver was filmed driving with the bed of his truck completely raised while heading straight towards a tunnel located under a bridge. Of course, the truck ends up hitting the bridge head-on with his heavy steel body, destroying a good part of it. 
the damage caused by this unconscious truck driver will certainly amount to hundreds of thousands of euros and will surely earn him at least a layoff, if not a dismissal for serious misconduct. But the real question is to know what the Sunday driver was thinking of when he went headlong on the bridge. If you have the answer, don't hesitate to tell us in the comments because frankly we haven't found anything. If trains are the safest way to travel, it is not without reason, because statistically you are 20 times more likely to die in a road accident than in a train accident. Some people even go as far as to say that train travel is even safer than air travel, because in any case the train does not risk crashing since it does not fly. But if accidents involving trains are not legion, it happens sometimes that a simple human error can turn into a major incident. Look at this incredible sequence filmed from the locomotive of a train, where we will see the stupid miscalculation of a driver who must be still in training period. While the first train was quietly going ahead to change to another track, the driver of the second train didn't think it was necessary to slow down a bit to let it pass. The second train therefore maintained its initial speed, which caused it to inexorably collide with the first train head on. Fortunately for the passengers and the drivers, there was more fear than harm, and only a few superficial injuries were reported on both trains. The working day can be more than exhausting for the poor African workers who have to toil very often in atrocious conditions and under a blazing sun to have in the end a miserable salary. But you will see on the following sequence that these construction workers who came from South Africa are hardly working animals and also have rather particular techniques to perform their daily tasks. Take a look at this cheerful fellow who is handling the shovel with conscience in order to clear the road and take a look at his crazy colleague who drives the wheelbarrow. The hilarious scene of these workers and lack of neurons continues moreover at the moment when they must build a sidewalk, an operation all the more easy as it would normally take only two men maximum to complete it, since almost all the work is automated. But here again our workers friends let us see a hilarious show worthy of the greatest burlesque comedies of yesteryear, a real treat for the eyes and the mind. We have seen that certain mistakes made by workers can be disastrous financially speaking, since they can result in millions of dollars in damages, but it also happens that the employees pay the bill, but this time with their own money. On this video we will see that a laborer has to be very careful, especially when he handles hardened steel tools, and very painful. The poor man is indeed trying to remove a tire from its rim, using a rather recalcitrant crowbar. All of a sudden the nasty tool gets out of his grip and gives him a very hard blow to the back of his head, which literally makes him tetanized with pain. When you see the vastness of the sky, you think that the probability of two planes colliding is really minimal, if not almost impossible. However, this kind of accidents, even if fortunately they remain very rare, are not completely impossible, because most of the civil or military planes follow practically the same air corridors, some kind of sky highways where passengers and goods are transiting. These corridors, which are of course virtual, are like lines drawn in the firmament, in order to shorten distances and specially to regulate air traffic. But this finally implies that the planes follow the same itinerary and must therefore be constantly on the alert, because a collision happens so quickly. In this frightening sequence we can see the precise moment when two small planes collide in full flight, causing a real blaze in the sky. Probably due to a radar failure, the two planes flying at the same altitude finally collided, despite the vastness of the sky. Because of the kerosene contained in the tanks of the two planes, the latter were quickly transformed into intense fireballs, threatening to kill all the members on board. But by a happy coincidence, all the occupants of the two planes, including the pilots, were experienced parachutists and were all equipped with their emergency parachutes. They were able to escape the sad fate of being burned alive by putting on their parachutes and jumping into the void. In this atmosphere of extreme panic, one of them nevertheless had the reflex to record this accident worthy of Hollywood movies, thus revealing us the superb images full of adrenaline. Subscribers, as always on your channel, were revealed we have saved the best for last, with this sequence for the least burlesque and funny. Admire this literally surreal scene, where we can see the stupidity of some workers, which is almost in its pure state. This laborer is indeed inspecting a newly drilled tunnel by his company, to see if the hole is deep enough and if there is no obstacle to obstruct the path of the drill. 
But instead of doing it like a normal human being, that is, with his feet down and his head up, this worker with two neurons decided to do it like a bat, with his head down and his feet up. But what is really weird is that even his colleagues must have had the same idea as him, since they are the ones who attached his feet to the crane and made him come down manually. Indeed, how can a group of people have the same inane thought, to the point of actually carrying it out? One could logically think that even if they were wrong in theory, they would realize their stupid mistake once they tried to put it into practice. But as you can see, this was absolutely not the case, and these poor idiots have finally put their not very bright idea into action. These workers, whose brains are probably lacking in magnesium and phosphorus, should perhaps take a few days of vacation, just to put their ideas back in the right direction. And that's it for today. Which of these 10 fatal employee mistakes impressed you the most? Tell us in the comments. And if you liked this video, don't forget to put a like and subscribe and activate the notifications. See you soon for new discoveries out of the ordinary.